I'm gonna do a quick kitchen walkthrough and just give some tips on how to get your kitchen area uh, prepped and ready so that you have the least amount of food triggers when you come in and you can stick with whatever your healthy goals are in a much easier way. Uh, first thing is something I tend to forget about sometimes, but it's really basic. So look around your kitchen. Mine's not super clean, but it's fine. Look around your kitchen and at the cabinets. And when you open your cabinets, what are the foods that are at eye level? So I <laughs> had a little problem with this cabinet. I'm opening it now. You can see eye level. Um, I had the chocolate chips and marshmallows here for a hot minute. And every time I open this cabinet, guess what I wanted to eat? So I've moved them up to the top level up here and I've put my nuts and berries and granola down here on this level. So um, something to think about is eye level. What do you see when you open it? In this cabinet eye level, I've got uh, my little seaweed snacks, um, you know, some pickles. Up here is more like the junk food stuff for my kids, the pirate booty, all that. Um, in this cabinet, first thing I see when I open it are like my teas, my coffee. So try to keep everything out of sight. Now the other fun thing you can do in your fridge is, in your fridge, when you put away food, wrap the healthy food in saran wrap or in Tupperware and wrap the unhealthy food in tin foil so you can't see it. Because whatever you see is going to immediately trigger your brain. So just as a couple ideas for visually in the kitchen. Uh, at the table, I am not a fan of the huge 12 inch plate. American portions are huge. Um, when, you know, this is what most people eat dinner off of and it's massive. So what I would encourage you to do instead is pick out nine inch plates and not just any nine inch plates. Uh, I like to use little colored plates, something with high contrast. Um, anytime you're using a white plate to eat your food, your brain, it, it's a funny thing, your brain gets less stimulation from food on a white plate. Food versus a high contrast color though, like um, something like these plates, your brain actually gets more satisfaction. And when you put your proper portion on a plate that's not super big, your brain also thinks, oh, I'm eating a full plate of food and you don't feel like going back for more. So always on the table, have your little nine inch plates, get them colored if you can. Keep nice, big, tall water glasses and your big water jug full of water back there. And then always serve from the kitchen. You don't wanna keep the food on the table and be going back for more. So when you're eating, sorry, I'm spinning around, serve from the kitchen, you get one plate, one healthy dinner. We don't need double dinners. You bring it to the table, you eat it on your nine inch plate. Um, so yeah, just a couple little tips. So all of these tips, by the way, they are um, from the education system that I teach my clients. There's a whole section in there about um, how to create healthy eating environments and healthy little brain chicks for your kitchen. So if this is something that you're struggling with or if something you have more tips on, let me know. Oh, a few other little things too for my kitchen. Sometimes still I will board a meat and I'll walk into my kitchen and I'll be like, oh, okay, what am I doing in here? The very first thing I have in my kitchen on my right, I've got this water tower and on top of it, I have mints, I have gum, I have little flavor infusers because a lot of the times when we think we're hungry and we're getting that achiness in our stomach, it's actually just thirst or boredom eating. So when the very first thing I see in my kitchen is my water tower and just some gum and mints, a lot of times I just grab that and leave. So anyway, little PS tip for you guys, but hope everyone's well, have a healthy day, bye.